G'day mate, welcome to Industries of Titan with me, Jitty. Today, I wanna to talk to you about our conversion centers because we've been doing a little mini series so far on, well, factory layouts, and we've covered a couple of the basics so far, like mineral processing and power plants and fuel turbines. And today, I wanna to talk about conversion centers because, um, well, conversion centers are a necessary requirement. We've gotta build them to get our employee numbers up, but after we've got our employees up and running, we generally don't need to keep them. So we can either dismantle them or just disable them like we do with a gun. So they're powered down until we need them again. As for our conversion centers, um, they're not terribly efficient. Not terribly efficient at all. They're going to cost us 100 minerals and also two isotopes. And for that, we're going to get um, an employee supply of six. Uh, it's also going to cost us 12 power and have a negative habit effect on surrounding houses. Don't put them near houses. It also, from memory, gives us a, uh, the ability to make two employees at a time. That's all we can craft. Also, um, fills up its waste storage very, very quickly. So if you mass convert, um, they have a habit of uh, filling up with trash and therefore you can't use them anymore till the trash has been emptied. So today I want to talk about a factory layout, a factory layout that I find way more efficient on both time and power. Also it comes with its own internal waste storage. Uh, but before we get into that, can I just ask one quick favor? Can I just borrow a like? I'd just like to borrow a like just really quickly in the video. You're not happy with layout. You don't agree with me. By all means, you can have your like back. So, as I said, um, the two things we're comparing is a conversion center. 100 minerals, uh, two isotopes. That's going to cost us 12 power, give us six employees, and that's all it's going to do for us. Also, upgrade-wise, it's nine, and then it's uh, 36, I believe, to go to the next level. And um, that takes us from uh, six employees to eight employees. So not really what I consider a large upgrade. As for a factory, factory is going to cost us a, the grand total of... Two isotopes. Um, does have a negative habitability effect. It also is going to constantly generate pollution. Whilst it's not disabled, we're going to disable it as we would with a conversion center when it's not in use. But we need to put together a nice little design, a nice little design to cram out as many employees as possible. Now, of course, that happens in a conversion capsule. And as we can see here, this is going to give us two employees straight away for every one of these. So if I build three of these, that's six already which is the same amount as, where are we? Uh, population conversions that are same amount as one of these, okay? Uh, this cost us 100 minerals. Uh, this has so far cost us the grand total of, uh, what, 18? 18 minerals, way cheaper to start with. But um, like I said, we need, a, boop, we need a decent design. Helps if I don't press the wrong button. I wanna press rotate, R for rotate. Okay, so we need to get a little design together. So I have uh, one, miss, one, two, on this side, we're gonna do one, two, miss. On this side, uh, we're gonna face it outside. Uh, one, two, miss. Uh, one, miss, one, two. Okay, nice, simple. Uh, from there, we're gonna need a relay. I need to put a relay in this tile, this tile, this tile, this tile. Also, to get an energy bridge somewhere, energy bridge in and done. Last thing we need to do is, well, I wanna do, is I wanna fill the area with waste receptacles. Uh, they need access to that tile. Uh, yes, uh, no, they need access, sorry not build on that one uh, they need access to the exit on that tile and they don't need access there or access there so we basically fill in uh our, our trash depots between uh, beside all our relays and then we fill in one row down the middle full of waste receptacles and this is now giving us two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty four more employees from one simple little build. And the best thing is, once it's all built, uh, I have two options. So I can find the energy bridge, and once it's built, I can disable it. So if we disable the energy bridge, well, it disables all the buildings, except those that don't need power, like all the waste receptacles. So we can still have employees use this as a general waste dump. The other option is, I can always pop out to the world map and disable the whole building. If I disable the whole building, it's no longer using power, also, those waste receptacles are no longer being used, something to keep in mind, uh, and it's also no longer generating pollution. But this is my simple little blueprint that I put together and I build, uh, if we just put in here, uh, employee test, uh, save blueprint, and bring that back up, we can see it's gonna cost us, well, 106 minerals overall if we're just using level one minerals. Obviously, we're gonna make some sort of saving if we're using a mix of level one and level two. I don't deny that if we're building a conversion center later in the game, we're probably using level three minerals, so it's not that expensive. 
but by the same token, after I get my employee numbers up, as you can see, I have done in this playthrough with uh, 258 of them. Um, after I've done that, I tend to remove every conversion center or every factory I had that was doing conversions because they're no longer needed, which, as the game has a 100% refund policy, means it technically costs me nothing except my time. The good news is, uh, with the ability to dump down another factory in a hurry and then stamp down another blueprint, it doesn't actually take long to get these things built. Or it also doesn't take long to get these things demolished. As for connecting two factories together to get the extra two loads of tiles down the middle, it's honestly not worth it. Uh, come on, guys. Uh, just due to the shape of how a conversion a conversion chamber works. It's, it's not really conducive to getting making advantage of those extra two, two tiles. We can use those two tiles for, well, things like... Uh, let's build this. Yeah, let's build this. Uh, we can use those two tiles for things like uh, power storage or fuel storage. Uh, can we just go building blueprints? We're going to put down our employee test. Whack that in really quickly. And then, uh, actually, I won't need that bridge. We can put in a waste receptacle instead. As soon as this is done, uh, we'll connect the two together and we'll see what we can do with those two tiles. As I said, because of the shape of the employee modules, you can get a couple of extra in, but I just generally don't find it's worth it for the extra time and infrastructure costs to get everything built. Although with 250 employees, it doesn't really take long to get anything built. Uh, one more waste receptacle. Thank you. And if I connect those two together... Okay, we head back in. We can see that we do have a little gap down the middle, which I would need to put a single uh, relay in. And yeah, as for those tiles, look, we can put in two more conversions. I don't think they're accessible. Technically. Uh, will you let me place that? You will let me place that. Uh... Sure, we'll build it there. Uh, technically, they're placeable. I don't think they're usable at all. Uh, but technically, they're buildable and they're going to go towards your employee cap. I don't think we can actually get somebody into this building on this tile. And I'm pretty sure uh, that one's blocked as well. Yeah, because that has side access. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's blocked as well. So, you know... You gained one that's usable, but um, you really don't care if they're usable at the end of the day. Nine times out of ten, you're putting down conversion uh, capsules to increase the employee limit. And um, this is not a bad design. Not a bad design to crank up the employee numbers, give yourselves a bunch of waste receptacles that can at least put trash in in the meantime. Eventually, they'll empty it back out, but um, something to put in of trash in the meantime. And uh, actually, let's just look at total cost is... 27 conversion centers, uh, each holding two employees each. So this is good for 54 employees, plus the 10, 12, 15 you start with, plus the couple you get from the HQ upgrade. You might only ever have to build one of these buildings to get up to 80-ish employees, which might be enough for a whole playthrough. You can also upgrade it to a next tier. And when we're done, you can dis uh, either just uh, disband, disassemble the whole thing or you can just disable it for now and don't forget if you need to disassemble the whole thing there is if the building's not disabled my bad okay there is this lovely button down here that um fixes all the problems for you very quick very easy anyway with all that said um this is where i'm going to leave this short little video as there's a short little video on how to maximize your your employees uh really crank out as many employees as possible in a factory layout rather than trying to put down well lots and lots and lots of conversion centers which take up time they take up space and it's much easier to disable this whole building and turn off the power requirements for 50 well 27 27 are uh, employee beds and employee uh, i guess 50 odd uh employee cap rather than, well, having to go through and find a lot of these buildings and disable them individually. Anyway, with all that said, like I said, this is where I'm going to leave this particular video. If you're interested in more layouts, guides, that sort of stuff, there is a link, top link in the description, also in the pinned comments below, for a playlist, a playlist with more layouts, more designs, more those sorts of things. Anyway, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you guys on Titan. All right, bye.